The objective of International Women's Day is to celebrate the women's right in economic, social, political and cultural domain. Then we have to reassure and reaffirm the women's solidarity in the struggle for peace. Third, we try to celebrate the kind of work and the kind of achievement women have done around us. It can be your wife, it can be your daughter, it can be your co-worker, anyone who is doing something great and trying to achieve something. Uh, we appreciate that and we try to tell them that you know we are there to support them. The Green Tea Ashish's book, we are going to host our Vox founder Mega Bhatia on the show uh, to talk about the women sexual abuse they face children the kind of sexual abuse they face which they don't even know about so what precautionary measures can be taken by the parents and what they should do to make sure that if something wrong happened with their child he or she comes to you and talk about it so uh, you decided to come back after your masters in law to india and work for this course so what why did you do this i i i know i i have seen your profile so i yeah. know you have been into these social activities throughout your life uh, you have been a, a volunteer for art of living also so uh, yeah. you know uh, there's a there's a different side to you and uh, uh, would would love to know this so can, can you please talk about uh, it yeah so yeah. Uh, yes i went to london i did my masters from there from ucl and um, since i was doing my masters uh, specialization in human rights so there was a subject called as child rights and i was researching on the issue of sex education in india and child sexual abuse and that was the first time i was like i need to do something for these children and before that also before going to london since i'm a lawyer like i'm a lawyer by profession i was um, in my law college i was interning with an ngo and um, during my internship i used to visit police stations and actually take children who have been a victim of sexual abuse or rape to uh hospitals for their mlc and that was the first time when i realized that the trauma a child has to go through when they are sexually abused mm-hmm. and in my journey when i was in london i was volunteering with a lot of organizations who actually campaigning for different issues like children with autism or um, children in syria but um, after campaigning for different issues i realized that there is this memory that you that sometimes stuck to your mind and it stuck to my mind because i have interacted with children who were abused i have interacted with children who have um, shared their stories with me and they have cried also so that time i thought ki i really need to work for this issue i want to help them out and uh, london actually gave me an exposure ki what like that what all i can do to help them out like yeah that that was the major thing which ignited the fire inside me to work for the cause okay and uh, yeah you know when you are when you are actually working around something you get to uh, you realize that it's it's you know it's much better that you work on the ground and there's nobody else who is going to do it and you have to take it in your hand mm-hmm. um, great uh, I, i think it feels so good that uh, to see people like you working on the ground to make these uh, this thing possible uh, there's a vision of yours that uh, says that you want to make this world a better place for childhood you know a safe place. is again so uh, why is this needed why why are kids uh, not safe in this country and uh, what what do you see uh, is prevailing in the society that uh, that these things are happening i think it's just not about india when we talk about kids are not safe it is not limited to india when we talk about child sexual abuse it yeah. is happening all across the world it's happening in usa it's happening in uk and what not but when we specifically talk about india and you look at statistics it's huge so uh, as for the ministry of women and child development statistics every second child in india is getting sexually abused so even if you and me are having conversation we might have faced some kind of sexual harassment as children it may not be with touch it can be without touch also like staring or stalking so it's important ki uh, we talk about this issue because it's happening with almost every second child and uh, in specifically referring to india we are not talking about this issue we are more concerned about uh, when a rape case happens we go we march and that's it it there's it's a, there's a hype around it for 10 days for 15 days but then we forget about it and we are not talking or not giving an environment to our children where they can speak up about these issues so it happens because in most of the cases it's being done by a family member 
Mm-hmm. It happens to a child. Child is not able to share it with anybody, and then the cases are not reported. Yes. Yeah, true that, and, and I think it it takes uh, a lot of guts to even speak about that topic with people, uh, and being kids, being kids. uh they don't even know what's happening with them so uh, uh very far from speaking about it nowadays uh, uh, parents are uh, parents are educating uh, they are definitely telling their kids what is a good touch and what is a bad touch and stuff uh, but uh, then again you know there are there are things which are not reported there are things when uh, the kids do come and tell their parents and they they just don't do anything about it so i think uh awareness is is really really important uh, when it uh, boils down so how how are you implementing uh, implementing this how how are you making sure that this thing uh, doesn't happen because i think this issue was raised uh, in one of the movies done by alia bhat in highway right. and uh, i think that was uh, that was at least uh, uh, for me that was the first movie where i saw that this issue being raised uh, you know by bollywood uh, in a movie so uh, what what uh, steps are you taking how are you implementing it on the ground okay the first step that we are taking is through our workshops we have developed our own unique module which we call it as power module so we are actually educating children about safe and unsafe touches to a unique concept of powers like to doraemon like or to cartoons like doraemon has power so you also have power over your body or power to say no or power to trust people because uh, i remember i'll share a few instances from a workshop i was telling uh, a child that you need to trust people and share it with people if something like this happens or a bad touch happens so the child was like yes we i'm going to share it with my nani who is no more and she is an angel now i was like no you cannot share it with your nani you have to share it with a trusted adult there were instances where children used to tell us be i'm going to call a cid or i'm going to cry on this issue so when you think about children they are really innocent they really don't know whom can they go to when they feel like get an unsafe touch or uh, if they are feeling uncomfortable about it so as an organization we conduct a lot of workshops for children but i i have understood this ki uh, conducting workshop for children is not sufficient it is important that workshops are conducted for parents and mm-hmm. teachers also because i have personally seen a lot of cases where there was this case in which a child was abused and um, child went to his mother to share what exactly happened with him and her mother was like don't tell it to anybody because it was in, it was being done by the child's mama so like mother's brother so it's important to educate parents also that how sensitive this issue is and what impact it can leave on the child uh, apart from workshops we are building a lot of resources on this issue like when i was researching since i have a legal background so i got to know that people are not legally aware about this issue and even children are not legally aware so we are building a lot of video content as well as comic books on child rights Uh, apart from that we do a lot of advocacy work like we initiate campaigns in which we involve um, youth leaders direct speakers president of bodies to come for this cause and raise their voice because it's important that we start talking about this issue and yeah. not just being quiet about it right uh, so uh, let's talk about some of the campaigns you have run uh, recently in the past or uh, you are planning to uh, you know launch uh, in upcoming days or upcoming week hmm also there was this a uh, campaign called as hashtag i stand for bachpan we initiated it and then um, our idea behind this campaign was to actually bring people together from all the fields like people at grassroots level ngos civil society organizations so what happened was uh, like we started a campaign called as hashtag i stand for bachpan in which people were actually holding these placards and sharing that why they are standing for bachpan why they are standing for safe childhood and we received a great response we got response from four plus countries in 20 plus languages there were celebrities like uh, suha ali khan ma'am harbhajan singh sir cricketer so they were supporting us there were there were artists who were supporting us so i think that campaign played a very important role in bringing people together for a cause right yes. uh, and, yeah yeah go ahead <laughs> sorry so we were asking about a recent campaign it's it's kind of related to self love that we have initiated because it's valentines week and we believe that it's high time that we should love ourselves because um uh in entire life like we try to love other people our boyfriend our girlfriend our family members but it's high, it's high time that we love ourselves so our campaign is khud se pyar hashtag mm-hmm. khud se pyar nice uh, and uh, how do you support all these activities like uh, 
you know i i understand uh, the, that uh, it it takes a lot of guts to actually start working for this cause then uh, then there comes support that of course your family friends and everybody supports you but yes. uh, there has to be a monetary support also to run these things and uh, you know to actually run these campaigns or, or whatever work you are doing on the ground so uh, how how can anybody who is listening to this episode or uh, even me how can how can i be a part of these campaigns uh, so how can we contribute okay so as an individual you can contribute in many ways first of all you can volunteer for the cause you can um, actually refer us to different schools in your areas or even if it's outside delhi or in different states mm-hmm. thirdly if you're not able to come at the grassroots level or conduct workshops you can do it from your home place like you can do a work from home internship there are a lot of internships volunteer opportunities that are available you can donate for the cause you can sponsor these comic books so our comic books are now available in eight plus states like in different school libraries so you can also sponsor a comic book for like the state or particular schools so mm-hmm. it's like you just need to have that passion to do something and like you can do anything like there are so, a lot but, of opportunities yeah so you you said i, I can sponsor uh, this uh, the comic books and uh, how to sponsor that like uh, whom to reach out mm-hmm. how to reach out to you uh, around that also you can check out our instagram profile we are available on all the portals like okay. um, we are on instagram youtube our website has all the information it's mm-hmm. www.rwix.com i think we can share the link with everybody and uh, yeah we are on yeah. instagram we're on um, hub hopper also we also started our own podcast so yeah there are a lot of options. good to, good options. to hear that good to hear that and i think uh, it's it's very necessary that uh, people start to speak on this and uh, you know there's definitely people do want to hear and get aware about these things it's just that there's there's less number of people like you who are actually on the ground and working for these things uh if there is content available online which you guys are working with i'll urge if, if somebody can contribute to make the content also that would be really helpful for you uh and uh, you know watching this content uh, makes you knowledgeable uh, you you get aware about these things and uh, that way you can actually uh, support that that's another way to support at the end of yeah. the day it's it's about working for the cause uh, uh, so thank you so much mega to share all these uh, this information with us and more power to you and your cause uh, what uh, the things you are working on is definitely a very good cause uh you know it it takes a lot of things to be on the ground to uh, work around these things and uh, you being so young uh, how 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 do you make these things possible like like if i have if i even think about this that i have to go to a police station um or uh, i have to go with somebody to a police station it's a hassle i'll i'll, I'll not even go for my own uh, if if something has happened to me so you know uh, from where do you get all this like uh, yeah I, i understand that it comes from within but you know is it is it that that from uh, from childhood itself or something like yeah. that that helps you to build around this thing uh i I'll, i'll be truthful with you okay i used to be a good i used to be a kid who used to be really scared to even call on 100 okay so till my college life uh, like i remember in the second year i first time called on 100 because my somebody had actually uh like done something with my car and i was super scared to actually interact with the police officer and i have seen myself grow as an individual from not even able to talk to police officers now fighting with them to file an fir and i think the thing that motivates me is children because um uh, uh because when you actually see children crying in front of your eyes and you are their only hope you forget everything and you're like you need to be there for them and i also remember that once a survivor was sharing her story with me and it was my initial year when i started arwa and i was like i would cry after hearing her story but i couldn't because if i agar if i would have cried at that point of time i was the only hope for that lady yeah. so i think these stories these people helps me to actually continue on my path Can yeah. can you share one story with us now uh, just don't go into the details of what happened but uh, actually you know around uh, how how did she uh, approached you or something like that like you know what what happened uh, throughout uh, we don't want to go, get into the details of what happened but how things uh, mm-hmm. uh, i yeah. just uh, okay so i want to give trigger warning to people uh, people who are very sensitive because uh, this story is kind of um, it's, it's a very serious story uh, so once we were conducting a workshop in a school 
and uh, there was a girl who was uh, around 9 years old so she was after the workshop she was able to share what was happening to her so she shared it with us initially that uh, somebody from her family was touching a private part uh, but after interacting with her we got to know that uh, she she was getting raped by her own brother and um, she couldn't identify it because nobody in her family had talked to her about this and then we were we reported the matter to child helpline we reported the matter to police and that was the first time i was uh, i think i was at the police station for around 4 hours convincing the police officer to actually file the fir because they were like we are not going to file it it's a family matter and uh, even uh, the family was refusing to file an fir because they were like our family is going to get destroyed it's in it's within our family and there were some people in their family who were telling us that we are from bihar and this cannot happen this is our culture and it is impossible they were not even ready to believe it ki child sexual abuse happens so that was a time when we counseled the family we counseled the child and a, a matter was reported so now that person is in jail uh, even his bail application is rejected and that girl is happily going to school but these stories like you realize that you are actually saving lives in front of you and the satisfaction that you get trust me i have okay i did a part time job in london i was a social media manager for my student accommodation uh, i was i used to get good amount of money okay but i have observed that nothing in this world can satisfy that that satisfaction that you get when you save lives in front of you so I think these stories touch your heart. And uh, and uh, uh, does that girl immediately after you gave this session came uh, came up to you and talked to you? Oh my God! Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, yeah. So you know that's that's complete about uh, that that whole thing shows that it's about awareness. She got to know about it and she uh, immediately came and talked to you. And you know what, uh, Ashish, we go to schools and trust me, in every school we get at least one case. One case is just. it's minimum there was a school in which we got 13 cases of non touch sexual abuse and it's it's horrible at the grassroots level like when you will go and you will see ki you will be like what's happening with our children and you know talking about it it's yeah. it's the worst thing like i've seen i've seen even corporates telling me that we cannot take up this issue because um, it's a taboo topic and i feel like come on for you it's a taboo topic for children who are suffering just imagine what they're going through yeah uh, it, 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 it 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 is giving me chills i, I don't know like you know that it's it's really bad that i uh so i i have i have personally uh, you know seen this happening so uh, i'm i don't know i i just can't talk about this topic more but it's it's really really bad uh i hope that people understand more about it and uh, uh, you know connect to this uh, cause and do mm-hmm. something about it at the end of the day uh any anything specific you would like to talk to our viewers uh, apart from what we have talked till now uh i just want to uh, share this with all the viewers that don't wait for organizations to do their work okay or set up uh, and conduct these workshops i think each one of us has a very important role to play please start with your own homes we all have cousins we all have younger brother younger sisters just provide them with a space where they can share their heart out and i think that's going to be that's the least you can do right so start the conversation with your own uh cousins and younger brothers because don't think that it's happening somewhere outside india or it's not going to come to my family but uh, ensure that you start these conversations it's very crucial and be safe and be aware and it's yeah be safe and be aware thank you thank you so much mega for uh, talking to us about this topic and i hope people listen to this and they go home and they do talk to their kids or uh, their brothers and sisters or cousin brothers and sisters and they they help them to open their heart because at the end of the day it's all about opening their heart and talking to uh, the person who is uh, actually trying to know because parents they do want to know these things it's just that the kids are not uh, first they are not aware and even if they are aware they are scared to talk about it because uh, they just cannot open their heart to their even to their parents uh, leave alone anybody else
and yes. when there is a when there is a stranger uh, who is coming to their school and you know you are going there you are just a stranger but you are talking about the topic and you are uh, you are opening your heart out to them and they actually see that it's a possibility to talk about this topic to somebody yes. and uh, great work mega uh, uh, more power to you for whatever you are working and uh, the kind of work you are doing and thank you so much for taking your time out Thank you so much for um, inviting me here, and I'm sure this uh, this episode is actually going to inspire a lot of people to speak up. And thank you for this opportunity. Really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank. You.